So I'm back. Uh, I was streaming to Facebook and YouTube, and YouTube completely just pff, flatlined, and the whole screen went green. So I don't get what's happening. Uh, so this one is now literally just live on Facebook because apparently YouTube can't act right. Don't know what is going on with it. Really annoying. And apparently my page is telling me that I'm not even live. Come on. How can my own Facebook not tell me that I'm live? Hello? What is going on? Right, think it's sorted. Jeez. Shouldn't have been that bloody difficult. But yeah, I was trying to stream to Facebook and YouTube and it, it just wasn't having it. And now my chat's not even sure. Oh, jeez, really? Facebook, sometimes. You just do amaze me. Uh, oh dear. So, just a couple of things I need to sort out again. Because lately my Streamlabs OBS chat has been really screwy. It's like not working. And it Streamlabs is... OBS. It's bloody annoying, in all fairness. So. Uh, game. Right, so. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. We're back. We have no issues. I don't know what was going on with YouTube. It was just constantly bugging out and the whole screen just went green. But uh, I, I don't bloody know. <coughs> right, so here we go. Looks like that is a lot of oh, lost soul. What's this? Talk. Who I are you? Don't remember. Of course you don't. To join us. And help them out in their troubles. I don't know. Maybe it will come back. Maybe there's something that could trigger my memories. Hmm. Maybe there is. Maybe there isn't. But again, my chat. No. <laughs> Fucking hell, Streamlabs. Oh. Let's move you there. There we go. Hopefully my chat works again. Don't know what is going on. But this is the village. Looks stunning as always, doesn't it? Look at it, it's beautiful. But out here, we have monsters. And this, out here, is what's considered the weirdness. You need these candles here to burn to take away the weirdness so you can see here we go as you can see we are now in the weirdness it looks all weird and horrible but if you like one of our candles there we go 
good. We can I see. Yes, the you're the telling me. Yes, you're. Te yes, 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 yes. He's basically just telling me that we've got to go out here with weird candles. So here we go. Looks like there's somebody over there. What's this? Stray creature. Looks like me in the morning. Nothing stray about that. He's got a bit of hairline. Yeah, he's fine. But as we learn, here we go. This is preparing for a special attack. We've got two turns to wait before he does anything. So, uh... Deal one hit between four and six to reduce his armor. Yes. Slap a nice attack in. And... Let's do 100% more damage in the next turn. So, every now and again, you got a weird card. Forces of weirdness, insert them into your hands. So, because we are in the weirdness, uh, the, the shroud that is, that can cause cards to randomly pop up in your deck. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not so good, but their effects depend on your weird candles burn. So here we go, deal one hit for 17 and 26, if not played, we gain 10% damage. But I want to hit him for that, so we have to use that. So every now and again, those random cards will appear in our deck. So, uh, yeah. Oh, let's use that one and slap, slap, slap. And that's going to be about 9, so throw that one in there. Well, straight to level 3, and, well, 15. Oh, nice. So we're going to pick a new card. We want to block the next hit of a chosen enemy. Deal one hit for 300% damage. Reduce the enemy's armor by 25% until the end of combat. Oh, reduce damage dealt by all enemies by 30% for free. De no, I'm taking uh, Fist of Stone. Deal one damage for 300, and reduce the enemy's armor by 25% until the end of the combat. I'm taking that one. I'm taking that. Uh, pick a new passive skill. What passive skill do we got? We got Armor Crusher. Whenever you hit an enemy, reduce their armor by three until the end of combat. That is really good. Every time we hit them, we can constantly slap their armor down. Uh, start every combat with two additional energy. I'm not really bothered about that. Uh, first hit in combat deals 200% more damage. Start every combat with an additional two energy, though. I'll have that, because if it gives us five energy rather than three at the start of a fight, that is going to be good. So, what have we got here? What are you? We, oh. So, a pack of enemies. Great. <laughs> that's what we always wanted. Oh, now there's me when I'm dragging my ass to bed. That's what that is. He's just a little... St look at him. He's stunning, isn't he? Right, so this little impy thing, Faith Healer, heals these two. This is its buff. It heals them. And it's really annoying. So we need to try and stop them. You're going to attack us for one. You're going to attack us for f between four and six. Not, I'm not really fussed about that, so... Slap a couple of hits in there. Oh, jeez, what's this? Special. A card added to your deck during combat. It's removed from your deck after playing it. it disappears on its own after combat. Ascend. Every time you play it, raise the cost of this card by one in this turn. Okay. Uh, your hit, I'm not really bothered about. Uh, you. I don't want you to heal anyone, but I don't really want to waste a stun. Um, let's just take you out. Uh, let's just hit you. It wasn't a lot of damage, but we'll throw in a block just to use it. Having them five cards at the start, wow, what a good one that was. One block protects you from one hit. Remember to pay attention to the enemy intents. I know. Hmm, I know. Alright, so you're on 31. Uh, small strikes. Three hits between four and six. 
deal one hit between reduce the enemies. Get rid of you. Bang. Oh, you didn't like that one, did you? Alright, let's do that. <coughs> Alright, so they've only done six damage, so. Oh, geez, and another weird one. Reduce damage of all enemies by 20%. If not played next turn, increase random cards cost. Yeah, yeah, I'm not having that. So, again, the weirdness is causing issues and dropping in random cards. Uh, between 48 and 72. Let's get rid of you. Okay, right. Still not too bad, they've only done 9 damage. You're the one that's going to annoy me. What the hell is this? Your deck has been infected with obsolete cards. Play this card to get rid of it. You ass. You've, you've infected my cards. Um, 3 hits. Of random there. Oh, I need to get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Let's hit you with that one. Only small, but any hits better than no hit. Yeah. That's all we got. You're on 16. You're not ready. Do one hit. Reduce your armor. Yeah. Goodbye. You are annoying. So what I'll do is I will block your attack. Ha <laughs> ha. I need to get you out of my deck. That's weird. Let's just hit you again. Leaves you on 28. Beautiful. Cheap. Gain 20% damage this turn. If not played next turn, gain 5 armor. I will gain the 5 armor. Uh, let's slap you with that one. Slap you with this, and then hit you with that. Uh, level four now. Look at that. Ooh. Like I say, every time you do die, you can respawn, restart. But what it will do is it will randomise everything, which I think is really good. Uh, reduce the energy cost of three cards in your hand by one. Gain one block this turn and one block next turn. Oh. For f wow. The blocks are going to be handier though. The blocks are definitely going to be handier. Bard. Weird yeah. music. Joyful melodies at that. It's and weirdly inappropriate. Drifting through the inscrutable darkness. Then... The source of the sound appears. Oh, a traveller. Come on, sing with me. There are many instruments around, all made from materials at hand. <coughs> Most have been crafted from sticks and bushes. But you can also see some monstrous body parts here and there. Singing nice. is the only thing that will get us through these strange times, don't you agree? Sing with me. Yeah, sure, oh, why not? Nice, are you? My music once filled the halls of... Wait, what, what was the name of that king? You know, the tall one. Arthur? Yes, grumpy one. Didn't like jokes, but he paid well. He starts to dance again, clapping on his belly like a drum. Speaking of paying, Master Stranger, do you have any coins to spare? If you do, I might teach you a song or two. Uh, okay... Uh, how much have I got? 128. Nice headache. Yeah, it's just something that's simple and just not constantly everything moving in the background, Rev. That I just can't deal with. Constant movement. Uh, learn a new song requires 100. Yeah, why not? Duplicate the next car played. Draw three cards. Heal 10 HP. Oh, heal 10 HP. What's this? Oh! It was an enemy. Right, these things here wake up after absorbing blood of its falling ally. So if we kill this, the blood from the, the blood from this thing goes into these two. And these things absolutely suck. So, you're not going to hit us. 
Have fun, I'm off to bed. Okie dokie, Rev. Uh, sleep well, buddy. <laughs> I'm not gonna be far off. I'm not gonna be far off. Uh, double block. Don't need any block. I've got all these blocks. And... Wow. I didn't need all them bleeding blocks. Uh, let's hit you for that and reduce your armor. Let's hit you again and reduce your armor. And let's uh, actually heal ourselves. Jeez, create a 10 barrier on all enemies, lose 10% of your co Oh, jeez. Uh, hit for 20. Yeah, let's do that one. Bang. Right now, these things are alive and these suck. Look at the the hit rate on these and now oh, mainly all I've got is attack what happened to the uh... oh jeez uh, 8 to 12 hit you first this is gonna hurt would have been nice to have all those blocks that we had at the start now we've got them look at this Uh, you're gonna hit us twice. So block, double block. And block. And let's hit you with that. Wasn't a lot, but we, we've got to get a hit in. One of them's gonna hit us seven. Ooh. Let's use that for twenty-five. Uh, you're not the one I wanted to hit with that. I wanted to hit you. Uh, between four and six. Let's hit you and hit you again. There we go. So you're gonna hit us between seven and nine. Jeez. These hit hard. Yeah, I'm stunning you. I'm not getting hit from that. Broad reach. That's an attack. It's got 15 left left. We're going to hit between 14 and 21. Come on, 15. 16. We got lucky on that one. So damn lucky. Oh, hanging tree. As you approach the tree, it seems to <coughs> shift and move. You draw closer, and suddenly you realize why the tree appears to be moving. Dozens of rotting bodies dangle and sway in the breeze. It looks like a strange dance with their necks nodding along in their nooses. Loot the hanging tree. As you reach for oh one of the dear. corpses, something slashes at you. You fall to the ground. You feel... Ah, Really? You're gonna do dirty to me, tree? Oh, jeez, look at that. Damn! That's, uh... Definitely different, isn't it? Hey? Eh? Okay, let's go over here. Light another candle. Uh, oh, jeez. The blacksmith. I do need health. So I think we're going to have to use that. Have we got any runes? No. Alright, well, let's try and fight this. Can't see this going that well. This thing here sucks. Gain 25% damage. I will hit you with that one. Uh, I want random enemies. I want to get rid of this guy first. This is the first thing I want to do. Let's get rid of this. 
want to get rid of you. And you know, we'll just randomize that bit. Get rid of you. It's like our deck's been infected. Great. Heal 10 HP. It's no point right now. Still going to be hitting these. Uh, between 8 and 12. Reduced, but it's better than nothing. And then we'll do that and hit you. Bang. Alright, so the pain in the back end has gone. You're gonna be a, a pain in the bum. Uh, let's hit you first and hit you again. Reduce your armor. Uh, they suck. Get rid of them cards. Because if you don't get rid of them, they end up infecting every single card you have. Which can be really annoying. Like now. These are annoying. Uh, gain one block. Look at you. Because we're going to be blocking this guy here that can hit four to six. His one doesn't really matter. Heal There's no point in healing ten right now. Not until we've got one of these down. Let's hit you. Right, we've got you left. So I need to get rid of you. Get rid of you. Might as well heal now. rid of the scab we can stun him but he's only going to hit us for one so I'm not really bothered about that let's hit you there hit you that time and you're done I actually thought I was going to die that time so this turn increase the damage you deal by 100% deal hit for 75% damage deal one hit for 75% damage to all enemies whirlwind I'll take that, 75% damage to all enemies. Alright, killing spree. Start every combat with 10 ultimate charges. Unused block lasts for one additional turn. Nice. Whenever you play two or less cards in a turn, your first hit, the next turn deals 400 damage. Unused blocks. That's going to be a good one, I think. So, blacksmith the song breaks through the slithering of the <coughs> I have no hope, no home, no gold. Mine is but misty morning cold. Not long afterwards, you come upon a man wearing a blacksmith's apron. Oi, traveller. Want to buy a good anvil? Tis all I have, I'm afraid. Me home, you see, went poof. One minute there, next minute gone. I found myself here, with this lump of iron for company. I swear to God, it started talking to me not long ago. Oh. Oh, no. So this is the blacksmith. We can actually All get him to come to the village so stones. he can upgrade our, our weapons, our load out our rune stones when we do start getting them. We can upgrade uh, all sorts of things for us, so... Good. I'm glad to hear it. Rune stones it basically you give you little you'll buffs find a that you can take into uh, battle with you. you know what you're looking for, there you, go. you should be able to find more of them out there. By the way, but here you go, the blacksmith. You basically get cracked gar and you know you add them together to make a more powerful one. You want me in your village? Huh, just fooling for pity's sake. What would I need tin bears for? <coughs> Show me the way. There we go, blacksmith available. Villagers completed. Combat encounters will now drop rune stones. When equipped, they will increase your abilities. Okay. I have no health. 
I need... Nope, you're not what I want to go near. That is the big uh, beastie golem. The local hunters call this ancient skull the Stag Father and lay charms and offerings around it. The legends say the Stag Father takes the dreamers away to join him on a great hunt. Alright, let's risk sleeping in the dangerous place. Oh! Oh, jeez, we're candle. Create 10 barrier on all enemies. Uh, if not played next turn, lose 10% of your current HP. Great, because that's all I need. Now, you're going to hit between 5 and 6. So, I'll do that one. So, I'm going to do that one. And small strikes. Huh. And next hit small strikes again. I will take that. Oh, my nose is itching. Yeah, these beasties. Ow! You hurt. No point in. Oh, actually, yeah, there is. Uh, I need to reduce somebody's armor. Yours. I'm gonna stun you. Do not want you hitting me twice. That is bad. Still got these two to hit me though. Uh, gain a block. Attack you. Attack you. Oh, you've got six health left. Ten to sixteen. Get rid of him. There we go. Nice. That's one block. Oh jeez, you just suck. Oh, tw two attacks between eight and ten. You suck. Broad reach. Let's do that. That did not help. Got ultimate ability, that's fine. Ow. Getting 10% damage this turn. I can't risk losing 5 armor. That is gonna suck. Uh, double block. Jeez, you're gonna hit me 3 times. How the hell are you supposed to deal against that? Yeah, we're dead. Really just doesn't Within give you darkness, enough blocks you hear a familiar for that voice. one. Finally. Now we can start the cycle of proper rebirth. A different voice appears out of nowhere, and its owner is nowhere to be seen. Be gone. It is calm. Inhumanly calm. Can I invite you to the table? You see a hooded figure waiting for you by the table. A chessboard sits upon it, the game in progress. Ooh. As you take the free chair, you realize the creature has no face. A white skull leers from the shadows of the hood, a human skeleton draped with robes. I admit. I'm not used to showing up in person whenever people die. That's too much hassle with adjusting my presence to your current imaginations and whatnot. But let's say that your case is special. Oh, well, it's, yes. I mean, come on now. How and could yes you not know this guy's dead? Question, too. You're technically dead. But there are certain things that prevent you from, let's say, being properly gone. Hmm. Recent events had consequences going beyond the intentions that sparked them. And now we're stuck in this unfortunate predicament, because time, as you know it, 
is irreversibly corrupted. The, the weird thing is, though, with the death of a skull, how does he talk? He's got no vocal cords, no voice box, no diaphragm or, or anything like that. How's he produce the sound? They say the same about spirits and ghosts in astral forms and all this. How do they talk, you know? The past and the future are happening at the same and time. This is on a postcard. All that you see is an echo of things that <coughs> happened or eventually will. Presented without inherent sense, without purpose, without any logic. You see four figures on the board changing shapes into forms of beasts, and a moment later, they dissolve into dust. You must slay the Guardians, and keep slaying them until you reach the source, conjuring them out of the weirdness. Their deaths will make you stronger. This will lead you to your destination. Oh. Okay. Each one can be lost. But part of the accumulated power is transformed into new possibilities for the upcoming runs. Okay, right, so every part you do, uh, you get experience, enemies killed, obviously 11 objectives completed to journal entries unlocked. You get a certain score, and with a certain score, you unlock these. And this is the uh, the, the new... Um, do you know at the start where you, you can pick which one you want? We had to, of course, pick the starting one. But this one over here unlocks the next one. So there we go. Rewards unlocked. These are the cards of the passage will be available in the course of your next one's cosmetic. Items are added to your wardrobe. Accessible via the seamstress. Okay, so we've got rage. Every turn until the end of the combat, increase your damage by 25%. Offer 10% armor. Rearrangement, draw two cards, their cost is reduced by one. And Deceitful Plummel, oh, Pummel, deal one hit for 125 damage, pick two cards from the Grave Exile. Oh. <coughs> okay. So, passives. Not too shabby. So rest now, warrior. You can stay here forever, go deeper into wilderness and explore. Let's start over. Um, more healing potions, I think, would probably be better. But 20 plus 20 max health. You get 25 per one potion, so it makes sense to take the potions. But here we are. These are the different clan members. Just different traits once you can have currently we're still at the weird hunter so that is what we've got to go as we are on of course normal difficulty if we go back there's easy there's just no point in that so uh let's crack on uh, we do now of course it, it does save it if you die at certain points of the game like if you've unlocked the blacksmith the blacksmith will be at your village you don't of course have to go again and get the blacksmith as you can see the blacksmith is there at the village like if you do get people at your village they will stay at the village right let's quickly run over here I want to save my candle so I can see you there I'm not scared of the dark. Uh, you can use block to protect yourselves from enemy hits. I know, but he's not attacking till two turns. So let's hit him for three. Hit him for one. And I'm gonna miss being able to attack five times. That was real handy. Let's have one more turn to wait. Gotta use. Gotta put a barrier on him. So I was gonna lose 25% of my health can't have that but do that and re 
reduce your armor. Right, he's going to attack. So I will block. And they will deal damage. And of course, put his armor down. Yes, please. I will take that. Oh, jeez. This enemy either attacks or buffs its armor and damage. These things suck. So what is this? This is a flesh-eating maggot. Beautiful. So we'll just block. Throw in three strikes. And a oh, deal. Three more strikes. It's only got 4% health left. We've already blocked your attack. So, good night. There we go. Already up to level three. Nice. Gonna pick a new card. Uh, what have we got? Deal two hits, 400% damage. Charge your ultimate bullet to half of its max charge. Reduce the enemy's armor by 50 and damage by 10% for the next five turns. Ultimate ability, I will have you. Pick a new passive skill, one maintained body. Heal 25% of your missing HP after each victorious combat. At the start of each turn, gain ultimate charges. Unused block lasts for one additional turn. That could be really handy, but being able to heal 25% of my HP after a victorious battle, that is definitely going to help. Right, let's light this silly little candle. Let's go over here. This it is a milestone. Why these stones light up and banish the weirdness when people walk by. Many believe Merlin himself invented the runes carved into them. There's also a dark <coughs> rumor that they were left by the fall dwellers to lure humans into their domain like moths to the flame. Okay, so extinguish it, give me the candle. So if you extinguish it, it vanishes, but it does give you a weird candle. Pack of enemies. I don't know how strong you are, but we're about to find out. Hopefully I can get a decent amount of blocks and wow, I need to get rid of you straight away because you're just going to keep buffing him. Yep, yeah, charge this halfway. Oh. Reduce armor of all our enemies by 25%. Yes, please. Have some of that. And you're not really going to bother me, so... Do a block. Block you, because you're not going to attack. Uh, here, let's do... 100% more damage. Where is small strikes? There we are. Let's reduce your armor. Let me reduce your arm. There we go. So you're vulnerable now. Nice. Bang. Ultimate abilities taken you out. Right. You don't attack, but you now do. Your attack, so we'll throw out a block. Let's get your armor down. There we go. And three random strikes. We blocked it. Let's block again. Let's attack and attack. Two hunter marks on you so far. Okay. Let's reduce the damage of all enemies by 20%. Why not? We need to block. And let's get a couple of small strikes in there. Nice. Wealth. We've got 11 wealth for that. I'll take that. I will take that. Alright. A ruined home. You noticed the ruins of a home that was burned down. There's no telling whether it was destroyed during the war, set alight out of spite, 
or simply burned down due to an unfortunate accident. Look for valuables. Get in there. Door to your right, hole in the floor or hole in the wall. They always say that you hide things under the floor. But in period homes, they used to put things in the wall. You find nothing, and the house changes again. Oh. Door to your you left. You find nothing, and the house changes again. Door to you your right. Nothing. Hole in the you floor. You find nothing. Look you around. Find nothing. Door to your right. Got a weird candle and a, a Nord foot. Escape from combat doesn't work during legendary or story encounters. So the last one I darn pick. You're the big boy, aren't you? I do believe you are. A pack of enemies. You're gonna suck. You're gonna suck. What are you gonna do? You're gonna buff. You're gonna hit. You're gonna hit. So. Stun you. I don't want you buffing anyone. Block you. But you're still gonna be able to hit me, which I don't mind. Gain 10% damage this turn. I can't lose armor. That up. This to half, nice. And just gonna have to attack. Get rid of you. What's this on? Nineteen to twenty-nine. That is not a lot. Uh, charge your ultimate ability half of its max charge. That would probably fall. Did it? Jeez. Oh, three random hits. Another three random hits. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait. Try and get this up there. Oh jeez, what's this? Your deck has been infected with the obsolete cards. Play this card to get rid of it. need to get rid of that card and I need to get your defense down 38 to 57 I need to right, you're not gonna hit but you are so we'll block yours and then we'll do small strikes small strikes 40 to 60. Let's slap you. Oh, that was a nice one. One down. Oh, jeez, not you. Charge your ultimate to half of its max charge. There we go. That was oh, that really good. Deal one hit for 4 to 6 or lose 50% damage next turn. No, 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 no. Get rid of you. Um, you're gonna hit, so I'm gonna block. Let's actually just slap that on you for now. Deal 20 damage. Bet that. And you're vulnerable. Not now, though, are you? Oh! Uh, we'll throw in a block. Throw in another block. Do three random hits. Ah, ah. Let's put that up halfway. Uh, three strikes. Gain a block. Uh, yeah, let's block. One hit I can deal with. Let's. 
Let's so deal three random hits. Deal one hit and reduce your armor. We'll do that to you. And you are now vulnerable. Oh, you now. Goodbye. Bosh, there you go. Ultimate ability took you out. Just you left. Wow, we are really low on health. Create a 10 barrier on all enemies. Lose 10% of your current HP. Whatever. I'm going to try and get that down. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to. Got to create a barrier on him. I, I can't risk losing the HP. This is one of my enemy on 46. Uh, a couple of hits. Between 8 and 13, you're dead. Wow. We are low on health. Let's uh, pick up a new card. What have we got? Deceitful Pommel. Deal 1 hit for 25% damage. 125% damage. Pick two cards from the grave. Exile. <coughs> <coughs> this turn, increase the damage you deal by 100%. Deal one hit, one hit for 150 damage to a random enemy. Stun a random enemy. Reduce random enemy. Oh, jeez. This one's like everything, isn't it? <coughs> and we've got our first rune. This is beautiful. This weapon slot. Each card played. Increases your damage by 5% this turn if it's put in the attack slot over here. If you put it in the defense slot, armor slot basically over here, we get 10% armor. So I want the 10% armor because it definitely helps. Because there are some strong people here. Oh, what are you? Perfect. The sound of clattering rocks disturbs the ubiquitous silence. Approaching the end of a path, you come upon a child playing with some oddly shaped stones. Ooh. I'm Futhak. I'm waiting here for my mother. She's been gone for a while now. Or maybe she's going to leave soon? I have a lot of these stones, and while I wait, I play. Do you want some stones so you can play while you wait too? Three random commons, one specific. Take one random rare. One random rare. Character you're worth. I don't know if that's going to be any good, though. Uh, in the weapon slot, every, every turn, reduce armor of all enemies by five until the end of combat. That is actually really good. Gain to armor until the end of combat. Wait. Reduce the honor of all enemies by five if it's in attack. Constantly being able to slap down their their armor every turn by five is going to be amazing. Right, who have we got over here? Oh, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? These suck. These things here suck. Uh, create a barrier on all enemies if not loot. Oh, jeez. Gonna have to use it because I don't want to lose 25% of my HP. That's what I mean by the weird, the, the weird, weird cards. Ooh. Three random hits. Um, three random hits. What are you at? Twenty to thirty-one. Well, we'll save you up a bit more. Ah. Uh, uh. Right. So you're gonna. Uh, Charge your ultimate ability to half of his max charge. There's no point. Uh, three random hits. It's nice to see. Look at this. Their the, the armor is going down every every turn. It's beautiful. Uh, let's 
hit you to leave you on four. What's our HP? 42. 34 to 51. Let's use you. Actually, next hit does 100% damage, so we'll take it and we'll slap it on you. Bang! One. Really? One? Game, you're doing this on purpose because you wanted to take 10 health off me with that one. One. <coughs> Alright, currency earned in various places. Used to buy permanent upgrades in various places. Alright, well, we've got 12 weird stones, 147 wealth, and no runestone dust. Oh! Got another rune. Uh, so your each card play decreases your damage by f increase armor by ten. Increases armor by ten. Each card plays increases by five this turn. Uh, let's put that there because we've, we've already got it. The fortune teller. Stranger. Are you in need of some guidance? It's a question asked by an eerie yet elegant woman who's just appeared in front of your eyes. She's of indiscernible age, but looks strangely disturbing, standing peacefully within the weirdness. You can withdraw the course of your destiny and change the fate of your future fights. Come closer and see for yourself. Open the shop. Discard all cards in hand and draw three extra cards. Offer HP and gain one energy. No. Sacrifice five percent of your max HP and light a wear candle. No. Fully charge your ultimate. What's this? Don't really. I will buy that though, just in case I run out of a weird candle. But uh. this is like the weird candle. What are you? Okay, let's try and get rid of you. Then we'll go to the hanging tree. See how we get on with that. Oh, jeez, you're gonna wallop me. We need to. Three, six, nine. Stun you. Block you. Because you you're not gonna do anything right now anyway, so I don't need to worry about you. Charge your ultimate to half. Nice. And you're not going to hit, but I will need to block. And uh, three random strikes. Oh. <coughs> oh, you cursed my cards. Get out of it. Uh. Deal one hit for 12 to 18 on a random enemy. Still a random enemy. Reduce random enemy's armor by 50. Oh, I bet that hurt. You got the random minus on the armor. But their armor's constantly going down, though, with every turn. Which I think's beautiful. Right, let's quickly throw our ultimate on you. Wormy worms. What should I say? Maggoty maggots. Small strikes. Throw out some small strikes. And yeah, let's, let's just attack you. So three, six, nine. Yeah, I, I think we're gonna get absolutely destroyed on this one. 
1% health. Ah, uh, this is not gonna go well. Uh, block, block. Thirteen to twenty. Survive. The maggot killed us. Ah. <coughs> but there we go. We passed that rune, and oh, we're nearly, we're nearly at the next tier to unlock the next person. Uh, so what we got? Rewards unlock new cards. Increase damage against vulnerable enemies by fifty percent. Uh, position of power. Whenever you apply, vul uh, apply vulnerable for the first time in your turn, reduce random cards cost by... Okay. That was slightly... Useful. Start with two more weird candles. Why not? It, it randomizes everything and I love that. But the next tier, I do believe... I do believe it's the summoner, which is the next one. And after the summoner, I think it's the pathfinder. Or is it the sentinel? Can't remember, but my favorite's the summoner. All right, so, uh, faction, children of Morrigan, all right. Too, it looks cool with that sword though and uh, the old robe, doesn't she? Eh? Eh? Looks cool! Scene initialization. So, as you can see, everything's still the same. Blacksmith's still there. already see one down here so let's go and take on this guy I don't like this guy he can hit four times he sucks uh, five to six let's just block you and then we'll reduce your armor and do three random hits do you like that punk now he's gonna do two hits Jeez. Increase damage of all enemies by 50% or lose 2 energy. I'd sooner lose 2 energy. I'm not having him be 50% stronger. There is no way. Uh, let's throw in 2 blocks. And we'll do 3 random hits. Yeah, there is no way I'm making him 50% stronger. No way. And let's reduce the enemy's armor after a hit. He is now in the vulnerable state. 31. Oh, I lead you with three health. You kidding me? Could have been the perfect turn. Ah, oh, that could have been the perfect fight, couldn't it? Could have been the perfect fight. But right, we get to pick a new card. Uh, short pause, gain 50 armor for two turns. Upgrade it if you. I'm not really bothered about that one. Double edge, retaliate with one hit, dealing 200 damage of the received from the next hit. Or trap. This turn, gain 50 armor and stun every enemy that hits you. Ooh! That is gonna be beautiful. Right, beginner's luck. Block every second hit. Received in a turn. Increase your armor by 25. First attack top card play combat costs no energy. I think I will increase my armor by 25%. That is going to be seriously, seriously handy. Right, what have we got over here? Pack of enemies. You suck. 
And you're gonna do a buff. Reduce damage of all enemies by 50%. Reduce cost of one random card. I'm just gonna reduce it. Reduce their attack. Oh, beautiful. Right, 75. This turn, you gain 50 armor and stun every opponent that hits you. <coughs> I'm gonna stun you so you can't buff. I'm not really bothered about the three. Uh, three small strikes, three random strikes. And. Let's gain one block. Might as well. Hit you. Hit you. Game 50 armor. Gonna need it. Wow. Wow, damn armor went down quick. Right, let's put your defense down. I'm going to stun you. Three random strikes. Let's just hit this guy. Bet that hurt. So I hope you're not gonna heal him because that's gonna suck. Right, so I froze on both, didn't I? I'm not sure. Uh, deal three random hits. Let's hit you. And I don't want to block. Between three and four, it's probably going to be three just to add insult to injury. Oh, no, it actually did have the one. Um, let's deal with that. I'm going to block your attack anyway. Um. Oh, you were stunned. Didn't need to block. I hate you. Well, we get every game on a certain threshold of damage. You can also deliver a certain amount of hits to temporarily get rid of this buff. This thing sucks. Gonna stun it. And then... Hit it between four and six. There we go. Goron Wald. Hey, Mr. P, how you been? Oh, I've been good, Corey, buddy. How you doing, mate? How you doing? We're playing Tainted Grail at the moment, a deck building, monster fighting, indie style fighting game. It, it's pretty cool. I'm absolutely addicted to it at the minute. Stun a random enemy. Oh, I'll actually stun a random enemy. Two energy left. Uh, next hit does 100% more damage. Uh, 17 to 26. Three random hits. You're on 12! Can I get you with that? Yes, I can. You're down, bitch! Uh, Aaron! Mr. P! Hello, buddy! <laughs> <coughs> How are you all doing? How are you doing, Aaron? Hope you're doing well, mate. Playing Tainted Grail. Bit of a change. Uh, level 1, we've got weapon slot, first combat draw, one additional card with cost reduced to 1. In the armor slot, heal 4 HP for every combat 1. Ooh. 
4 HP doesn't sound a lot, but when you're not getting any, it's a fucking lot, isn't it? I've uh, been playing Call of Duty Vanguard and I'm having fun. That is awesome, buddy. I'm glad you're enjoying it, mate. It does look a good the game. The sound of clashing swords does look a good grabs game. your attention as you walk through the weirdness. You approach, but you find a campsite instead of a battlefield. Several men drink <coughs> milk, as if nothing of note was happening around them. Other uh, good game I used to play. I haven't been back on it in a hot minute. Yeah, this is an awesome strange. game. Until you notice a druid. I've had it for a while. I've just been playing it in the background. I didn't know if anybody would really want to watch it. So. Uh, I want a challenge. I'm probably going to get my ass kicked, but. You know what? Uh, but I'm glad you're doing well, though, mate. I'm glad you're doing well. You're going to hit for that. So. Between 9 and 11, 13 and 15. Yeah, I want to stun you. Thank you very much. And. Let's hit you and get your armor down. There we are. Let's turn it that way. A bit better. Honestly, though, guys, I'm glad you're I'm glad you're doing well. Glad you're doing well. Two hits between. Oh, jeez. Oh, yes, I used to, used to play another deck game on PC called Magic Arena. I've actually heard of that. I've actually heard of that. It was a uh, Might of Magic as well. Heard of that on mag just magic, magic cards. I'll do that. Uh, you're gonna hit for one. You're gonna hit for that. Uh, need to try and let's just do three random strikes. Uh, I had low expectations. Oh, but it's a small problem. But other than that, this game's fun. It brought back. I lost back from Cold War and Modern Warfare. Oh, nice. Nice, Corey. Nice. Um, because I'm Norse Pagan, obviously, you know, um, it's a given. Um, on PS4, I've got um, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I love that game. I'm thinking about getting it for PC and playing it on here. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the one, buddy. Yeah, magic. Yeah, I used to play that a lot, a lot. I had like, I had a lot of decks. I used to have like, do you know those like folders you could get with like the sleeves and you slide the cards in the individual thing. I used to have those and all sorts, mate. All sorts. Uh, that's gonna do six to nine, eight to twelve. Let's just hit you then. Your damage really isn't going to be doing anything new as yours. Oh, that put my airbase armor down. And wow, now your attacks back. Oh, you suck! I can't attack, attack. Three strikes between 8 and 12. All random. Six to nine, eight to twelve. I've already said that's going to be like one hundred percent. Oh yeah, well, I've completed it on my PS4. The, the day I got it, I literally completed the whole story and got nearly all of it done. It's I'm addicted to that game. I was debating whether to get it for PC. Uh, Seventeen to twenty-six. Yeah, I played against other people in real life and I played hard hitting fire deck. <laughs> that was the actual that was, that was the dead same as me. Hard hitting fire. Uh twenty-three to thirty-five. Let's hit you with the ultimate. Yeah, there, there was some there, there were some debatable cards. You look and you think, wow, that is powerful. So some of the cards I used to have in my decks, the people used to get the people that I'd play would, would get really angry. Oh well, you can't use that in your deck, and you can't use that card. Why not? They made the card to be put in the deck. <coughs> <coughs> Is it ridiculously OP with a fire deck? 
yes. But, you know, it's like the the effects that it would make fire attacks would like triple or quadruple and double the effects of certain one thing and all this, that and the other and stun the opponent whilst they've slammed them full of damage. You know what I mean? Uh, Magic is a good guy. Yeah, it is. Uh, well, I hope you have fun with your stream, Mr. P, and have a wonderful day. I'm sure I will try, Corey. Have a fantastic day, my friend. There you go. SpongeBob's just popped up underneath me. One thing that annoys me with Magic is rotations every week. Yeah. Has it has its moments, that's for sure. Uh, let's reduce your armor with that attack. Well, you're gonna hit nine for nine between nine and eleven. I need to block your attack. Probably on three to four. Jeez, that's rubbish. And my character needs to hurry up and die so I can unlock the sum unlock the summoner. The summoner is amazing. I love the summoner. I'm really good with the summoner. Do you want to reduce the armor? Random strikes. Play a trap. So if they hit me, they freeze. Nice. Overhead swing. Let's get your defense down, shall we? Wasn't really that effective, but it did get its defense down. Its armor down, should I say. That's what's... Uh, Struggling with us at the minute. It's it's armor. Three random hits. Actually, hit does 100% uh, more damage. Slap you around a bit. 19 to 28. You're on 50. Uh, 23 to 34. 34 to 48. Let's go for this one. Bosh. Oh, that's a beautiful attack, wasn't it? Oh. My fire deck. I have four eternal knights. Honestly, I can't remember the name of them all. Honestly, I just can't remember the name of them all and all the powerful ones that I used to have. And I mean, I mean, I've not got them now. I've not got the cards now. Um, honestly, for the life of me, I can't remember what actually happened to them. <coughs> I think with moving house and all this that and the other years ago. Probably got lost in trans transit somewhere. Uh, reduce your armor by 10. I know it's a low hit, but I need to get that armor down. That's what I'm really struggling with. Let's reduce your armor again. It's a minus 5. That's better. Uh, Eternal Knight is a power card to play. Ah, oh, right, yeah. Okay. I'm going to say this. I mean, you could talk to me about certain cards, and I'm like, I remember that one. And then others, it's like, nah, just, I'm lost. <laughs> it's just been that long. Ooh, what have we got here? Still a random enemy? Yes, please. Hmm. So, they can't attack right now, because I've, I've frozen them anyway. Uh, three small strikes. Try and get rid of you and get you out of here. What's seven to ten? Seven between seventeen and twenty-four, nine to fourteen. Let's see if we can get over twenty. Oh, we did. Just you left. <coughs> and this was supposed to be in a challenging fight. Amazing attack there, bud. Yeah. I mean, being able, we do get hit, but because it's the trap, it stuns them both. That is actually helping with these things. Uh, you're going to attack, so I will get a block in there. Let's double the attacks. So hit three times between 10 and 15. Oh, that was beautiful. These things, though, they suck. They do keep spawning smaller and smaller and smaller. And my life is getting lower and lower and lower. Uh, yes. Telling me about blocking. I don't have the block cards. Uh, let's do a trap. Um, we 
reduce your armor. Bang. And let's hit you as well. Ah 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 um, right, so they can't hit at the minute, so let's slam a couple of attacks in. You're stunned. And uh, let's get your armor down even more to 20. Uh, what are we on on ultimate ability? Between 7 and 10. Wow, that's crap. Uh, three random strikes it is then. Alright, so these are going to be able to attack now. Do I have another trap card? Oh, jeez. Create a 10 barrier on all enemies or lose 10% of your HP. Oh, that is not good. But I don't want to give them barriers. I'll throw up another trap. 100% um, damage. Three small strikes. Oh, this is going to suck. If not played next turn, lose 10% in my HP. But you're stunned. I love that trap card. I love that trap card. That is beautiful. Alright, let's 100% it. Let's do three hits for 18 to 20. Uh, let's reduce your armor there. There we go. What are we on? If we hit him, it's 38 to 57. If we hit this one, 70 to 105. Let's slap this one. Alright, so now it's only a small one. There and there. 50 health. But I think I'm going to need to use a potion here. Ah. These things suck so bad. I don't think I'm doing too bad though. Right, so three attacks. I can block two. Uh, let's get your armor down even more. Three small strikes. Um, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. If they hit me, all up fives. Uh, I will throw a block. I know it's not much, but at least it saves me from getting hit once. Oh yeah, they don't hit in the first time, do they? Duh. Have you noticed how though now I'm not getting the trap card? Hmm? Uh, broad reach. Three random hits again. Between 8 and 12, bang bang bang. What are we on on the ultimate ability? Between 8 and 12. Uh, let's hit you. 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay, so should be fine. What's that? Between 12 and 18. Yeah, I think I'll save that. Trap card! Oh jeez, what's this? Reduce armor of all enemies for, by 10 for this turn. Yes, please! I oh, will do that. That's definitely helped. Uh, trap card. Thank you. So, when they hit me, they're all going to... You know, wish they didn't. Overhead swing... Who's got the most health? 50. You do. So I'll put your armor down a bit more. And 15 to 23. 14 to 21. It's going to be better than nothing. Bang. Freeze! Oh yeah. God love it. Uh, let's do three random hits. One? Seriously? Get out of it. Right, so that's one down. 5, 10, 15. What have we got? 
23 to 4. Jeez. Uh, just use a block. Don't really want to be not using the energy. Three small strikes. I'm going to be hitting you. Bang. You're down. Two more left. Come on. Come on. What's my HP at? 38. Uh, 5 to 7. 5 to 8. 7? Well, not too bad. Right, 10 to 16. 32. 15 to 23. Let's slam that one a little bit. And it's left on 11. I will take that. <coughs> um, let's just do plus 100% damage and we'll do three small strikes between 8 and 12. Bang, bang, bang. Cool, oh, that was nice. Uh, overhead swing. Hit you. Let's just turn it that way. There we are. It's getting close. Oh, jeez, what's this? Reduce armor of all enemies. Yes, please. Uh, stun. Overhead swing. You're down. Oh, yes. Did it. Woo-wee. Damn. <coughs> I'm actually amazed I managed to do that. Uh, so pick a new card. Uh, Raging Blade, discard the hand and deal no hits for 75% damage. One hit for each card discarded. Chain Attack, deal one hit for 125 damage. Duplicate the next card played. Or Quick Attack, deal one hit for 100% damage and draw a new, draw a new card. Sorry, it's nice to have a new card in. And again, pick a new card. A small blessing, draw one card. It costs no energy this turn. Nice. Blade Fury, deal one hit for 100% damage to a random enemy chain. Nice. Deep Breath, gain one block next turn. Draw an additional card with its cost reduced by what? Oh, that's going to be handy. But being able to hit an enemy, I think that's just going to be better. So, a new passive skill. Haste, whenever you kill an enemy, draw two cards with its cost reduced by one offensive. When you hit an enemy, increase your armor by seven this turn. Or duplicate every fifth attack type card played. Uh, haste. None of those cards are really screaming out at me, but oh, we got 150 from that as well. Wealth. That was, uh, that was, no, oh, there's the big golem, look at it, uh, alright, so, what is, oh, milestone, extinguish it, Let's just boost it. Light boost it. Handle. Literally leaves it there. Yep. And uh, yeah, you can now see. Can I put my candle on? Oh no. Obviously not. I need health. Um. Fortune Seller, that's not really gonna help. Uh, just being there. Yeah, they suck. Um, uh, Have to try and go here and see if this fortune seller's got anything that can help these suck. Because this basically takes all the damage from this, it redirects every hit 
straight to this, and it's got 120 damn health. Uh, quick attack, deal one hit for each and, and draw a card. Yes, please. Thank you. Uh, hit one, run it. Nice. This enemy can't be damaged because of its ally status. I know I just said that. Uh, three random hits. There we go. We'll use the trap. And we'll attack you. And attack you. And that virtually did nada. Let's just. Alright, redirected it. Even your special. Aww. Ain't frozen though, ain't ya? Hey, hey, Frozy! Uh, three hits. So do that. Then we'll do uh, three random hits, eight to twelve. Cool, you didn't like that, did ya, Piggy? Huh? Hog boy. Hey, Pumba. Pumba's ugly twin, isn't it? Look at it. Oh, I mean that is a beast, though. Look at it. Then you got this one that just looks like a witch doctor with wooden arm. It's weird looking. Um, let's do that again. 50 armor. Up to 75 now. Nice. Um, we'll do that and then we'll do quick attack on you. <coughs> 8 to 12. 15 to 22. Let's try it. Gotcha. That was nice. And we gained a block out of that. And we can use one, so might as well save on the 1 HP. Uh, you're gonna try and buff. Don't want you buffing, so we'll use a trap card. Hit you for 10. And we'll attack you again. Oh, you put your base armor up. Great. Quick attack. Small strikes. They're all gonna hurt you. Let's reduce your armor there. There we go. Right, so you're on 18. What will this do? 10. I meant to hold scroll over it, not actually press it. Mr. P, you're doing great. Small strikes, you're dead. Alright, so we only got 11 well for that. Oh. But that trap card is really good. But Fortune good day, seller, stranger. please tell me you've got something to you in need of help some with guidance? health. Heal me. Heal me. Fully charge your ultimate. I'm not really bothered about that. Nobody knows what will happen after eating one. So I don't know. Fifty to draw a card. Oh, that seems expensive. Discard all cards in hand. Draw three. Yeah, I'm not really bothered about that though. I need health. The local hunters call this ancient skull the Stag Father. I need to hunt for food or something. Uh, only one. Uh, let's. Uh, you and you. Reduce armor of all enemies by 25 for three turns. Yes, please. Three small strikes. 
and deal damage from 20 to 30. Oh! So what did that give me? What did it give me? 10 meat. Oh, restores 5 HP. Fly, bugger off. What am I on? Jeez. Eighty-nine. Okay, I can deal with that. You, I'm not really bothered about. Um. What is over here? It's the blue light there. I want to know what that is. Hmm. Oh, look, you're gorgeous. Uh, double the attack. Three small strikes. Bang, bang, bang. And we'll attack again. You're going to explode and turn into those horrible little worms. Gain 10% damage this time. Lose 50 armor. Yeah, that's not happening. Quick attack. Have some of that. Trap it. I don't know why I use trap, it's not going to attack yet. Yeah. Uh, three random hits. One nice hit. Between 8 and 12. Oh, yeah. I thought one of the cats was clawing the chair. What a bad fight, was it? Hey. Armed Wanderer. Okay. Oh, these things suck. Uh. Three random hits, three random hits. Jeez, you almost healed it as much as I bleed and hit it. Do you want to hit four to six or lose 50 damage? Yeah, I'm not losing 50 damage. I do want hit from eight to 12. I will block one of the hits. What is this, four to six. Let's just hit you with it. <coughs> I really do need to get rid of that bloody thing. You, stop healing it. I need to get that out of the way. You're not wanting to hit, but random strikes, nothing really to do about it. Roll on when we get the new uh, mastery, should I say? Deal 100 damage. Attack you. And we'll also hit you again. Let's just turn so we can see. There we go. You're dead. Stop healing everyone. Create 10 barrier on all enemies. No, I'm not creating a barrier on enemies when I've got 24 HP left. Game, you're crazy. Thinking I'm giving them a barrier? No. Right, I need to stun you. You're just getting too much. Three 
random hits. It's on 40. Oh. Wow, that hurt. Two hits between four and six. Well, that's 12. And you. Oh, jeez. Quick attack, block. That's not going to be a bloody enough, is it? You haven't given me enough blocks. Um. Quick attack. It's just not enough. Gonna have to try and do what I can. But yeah, didn't have enough blocks. Traps didn't come out. When the cards just aren't on your side, really, you know, there's not a lot you can do. But hey, look at that, we've unlocked the next uh, class, should I say? Class? Would you say class? But there we go, rewards unlocked. These cards and passive skills will be available over the course of the runs. Cosmetic items are added to your wardrobe, accessible via the seamstress. The new class, Summoner. I love the Summoner. I think the Summoner is an awesome class. Alright, so rewards unlocked. <coughs> <coughs> These cards and passes will be available on the course of the runs. Cosmetic items are added to your wardrobe, accessible via the seamstress. So we've got Rush, offer a 5% max HP and draw a card at the cost reduced by one turn. Foresight, offer 3% of your max HP. Zero, dead, pick two cards uh, from the draw. Swipping strikes, add cleave to every hit this turn. Not too bad. Not too bad. But look at all these that we've already got. Look at this. Nice. Alright, so let's quickly start over. And we'll start with two more health potions, because one health potion gives you 25. But here is the new class, my favourite. Because I've been playing this game for a while. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of nice. So, Summoner. Well, the Summoner's ability is, uh, the faction is Moon Ring. And uh, the ultimate ability is Summoners charge their ultimate ability whenever they activate a minion. They can promote a selected minion by a specified number of levels, depending on the number of charges they spend. Basically, because I really like this class, uh, and this class is my favourite, what it basically is, is you have little monsters that you can summon to, at the side of you to fight for you. Our character in this class does not fight. It's the monsters that we summon that do the fighting for us. So, with the ultimate ability, you, as you say, as we say, you hit the person, or the opponent, or the monster, it goes up, and when you uh, activate that, it promotes one of your monsters to a higher level, making them more powerful, and uh, making their attacks more powerful, or whatever their motive is. <coughs> so, passive skill. Um, we start every combat with a summoned golem. Golems protect its ally by redirecting enemy hits towards itself. Basically, anything that tries to attack you, this uh, golem will take the hits until it's killed. You've then got a summoned abomination. Uh, an abomination will, when you want it to attack, it attacks anything on the battlefield, all of the enemies at the same time. And then you've got the worm, which uh, attacks random enemies, but also in its attack, it does reduce their armor. But I do like summoning the golem. Because when you first start, you're going to get spammed with hits. If the golem can take the hits so you can get things built up and summon in more monsters, then... Uh, I will take that. 
So, here we go. As the new class of summoner. Let's light a weir candle. What have we got? We've got somebody down here. Hello there, Mr. Four Swords. <coughs> Jeez, my cough. <clears throat> right, so here we go. All right, I'll talk you through it. A Fey. What a Fey can do is a Fey's ability to, uh, when you ask it to perform its attack or activate, what this thing will do is this will add a little bit in here. A ritual. You can activate the minion, which will activate whatever minion uh, you have on the battlefield. You can have up to four with you, or five with you, I believe. I can't remember. Uh, we can summon a barrier around myself that will give me ten defense. So I'll just show you right now. There we go. We've just summoned a barrier. That will add ten, so they've got to hit ten. And then, after they've hit me with ten, the blue barrier is gone, and then they can hit my life. Make sense? So there we go, we're going to put two barriers up, and we are going to summon a Fey. Because you'll see right now what I was saying, if we turn the camera around a touch, there we go. If we activate the Fey, what it will do, it was, will, will add a little quarter into here. But you, get to prom you can get cards that promote this thing here. So as you can see, when this attacked, it didn't attack me, it hit this. But there is a debuff for every time this gets hit, it does get a little bit of damage to me. A little bit, like a debuff kind of thing. Right, so again, we do have new cards. We've got the Abomination, which is just here, we've all summoned it. There it is, just here. A weird, ugly looking thing just down here. The Adom Abomination attacks all enemies on the battlefield. Passive increases damage of all minions by 15. But, deal one hit to all enemies. Not bad. And here we go. Here is the one. Promote a minion. We want to promote this guy on the end. Because he... Now promoted him, he got a little bit bigger. We ask him to activate. He will now activate more than he used to, because he used to do a quarter. He's now done a little bit more than a quarter. So now when we get attacked by Big Head over here, little Mr. Forearms. Let's just we're gonna use this on this guy here, on the Fay. As you can saw, he did grow again. I love, I love this class, especially having the golem, really, really helps. Uh, I know I don't need to, but I will show you the worm, we'll summon the worm. Here it is, it's basically like a, a little evil looking worm. Uh, power up increase, minions damage by 50%. Okay, well let's do it on the golem. And let's activate, let's activate the Fey. Now we'll add more in here, which if we need to, we can click on it. And uh, it will use its power here to promote, which will make this bigger and more powerful. I mean, having this thing here constantly deflect, deflect hits and hit some back at the uh, opponent, I'm taking that all day. All day. Alright, so let's promote you. Get you a little bit bigger. There you are, big boy. And let's activate you, because then this will go up by, probably by about, I was just about to say three quarters. Now we're going to activate him again. And that'll go up again. There we go. Times three. This is it's at its full capacity. Now if I swing the camera around to our golem here and go right 
You're doing well for us. Let's promote you. Now it's going to promote it three times. And look how big this bad boy is now. It redirects damage from Freya. Faye, Abomination Worm, gets interrupted by stun. So, this thing is an absolute beast. After every hit, damage to summon it for every level. Every next level, which is great. This thing is an absolute tank. Once you start getting it going. All, all of them are. The Fae, the Worm, the Abomination. But the Golem saves you in so many awkward spots. I mean, you've seen how many attacks that did. And this thing is still standing. Still standing. Right, let's promote the Golem. Let's promote the Fae. I'm going to throw up a barrier on myself again. So I've now got a protection of 13. And we'll activate the Fae, which we'll activate up here. And then we're going to, of course, use that and throw it back into the Fae. <laughs> it, it's weird how it works. But it works. That, that, that being able to do five attacks is just deadly. There we go. Summon a new golem. Throw up a new shield. And we will, of course, activate the Fae. Let's have a look at this now. Two. So we're going to use that. We're going to throw it back on the Fae. So next time this uses its ability, every time we ask this to use its ability, it will fill this thing down in the here in the bottom left. And we can constantly keep throwing free promotions on all of our things. Whilst the poor golem here is getting absolutely slammed. Because this thing can now attack us six times. Look at this. That took an absolute pound in that poor golem. But we're going to power him up. Why not? There we go. Let's give him a little bit of power. Uh, I'll throw up a barrier on myself. Do you know what? I'm going to throw a poor barrier on him. Why not? I feel bad for him. But now if we activate the Fae. This has gone all the way around. It is full. So if I take this and go. You know what Golem? There you go. That is going to take some beating. I love this glass. And the recoil of when they hit. When they hit it. At the start of each turn, promote a minion. Yes, please. Oh. Alright, so. <coughs> that is the Summoner class. I absolutely love the Summoner class, especially the Golem. Um, like, as you saw, power up the Fae. And just keep slowly, you know, promoting the Fae. So when you do uh, finally activate it at the end point, every time you activate the Fae... It gives you three promotions in the bottom left in your ultimate ability. And you can just constantly keep using that after every turn to level up three times, three times to promote every single monster. Whilst your golem is there getting absolutely hammered. Brilliant. Poor golem. We're going to have to be coming up with a name for him. What should we call him? Focused energy. If you only have one minion alive, promote it at the start of each turn. Increase the damage of each minion at level 5 and above 25%. Start of every combat. I start of combat with 20 barrier. Yes, please. Oh, beautiful. <coughs> but yes, I love the summoner class. There's somebody behind me around here somewhere. I just saw them on the map. Just up here. Who are you? Who are you? Gonna have to stop at some point and get a drink. Mouth is dry as a damn desert. But there we go, the sexy little golem. Oh. At the start of each turn, promote the minion. Uh, you know 
know what? Yeah, let's promote the golem. It's the start of every turn. He's going to promote himself. We'll promote you again. And that will do for our turn at the moment. We didn't even do anything, and just the recoil from him hitting our golem has taken four life off of him. Gotta love it. Abomination, yeah, let's bring you out. And increase the damage by 50%. We'll do that for the golem, because when he's hit, he's going to hit back a lot harder. And let's activate the ugly little abomination down here. I do really want to get a fa- oh, there we go, summon a fae. Let's promote this fae straight away. And uh, we will activate the fae. So that will give us a little bit down here. We're then going to use the activation card on the fae. And of course, throw it back on the fae. The quicker this gets up and promoted, the heavy time you're going to use this thing. It's beautiful. And our golem is just going to stand there and go, you know what? Bring it on. So there we go. Promote the Fae. Activate the Fae. There we go. That's gone up by one full circle. Let's use the uh, activation card. There we go. Times three. Let's just throw that back on the Fae. I'm going to throw up a sexy little barrier for myself. There we go. We're on 21 barrier. There we go, we've not even hit him yet. Well, that did, but basically did nothing. And he's already down to 58 health. Ooh. Alright, so we're going to promote a minion. Uh, let's promote the golem. There we are. Uh, activate minion. We will activate the fey. Straight to three, all the way around, as full as it can be. And what you want to do is every turn you get... In the background, whilst this thing's the golem's getting absolutely hammered, you're making everything else more powerful, and it gives you a chance to throw up a sneaky little barrier again up to 26. And then we can activate, well, activate the Fey with the card, Let's put it back as free, but you can only use the ultimate ability once per turn. <coughs> oh, look at that! Oh. And it heals itself. Oh. Alright, so as you can see, right here, we've got this. We can go and go, you know what, Abomination, you're looking a little bit small. Let's use this down here. That is beautiful. Let's activate a minion. We will activate the Fey, and look at that. That is straight back up and full again. Let's just, uh, what should we do? We don't need a barrier right now, I don't think. Let's promote a minion. We'll pro promote the abomination. This thing is getting big. Look at it. It is a big boy, isn't it? Look. Oh, it's gorgeous. Alright, so activation. Let's see the abomination in action. How much health has you got left? You've got 53 health left. And this can do 17 to 27 damage. I've already used that, haven't I? Yes. Alright, so Abomination. Bet that up. Ooh, you know that hurt you. Alright, so what have we got? Let's throw up another sexy little barrier for ourselves. And another barrier. We'll use this to throw on the abomination. There we are. It's bigger and better. Activate minion. Bish bash bosh. And it's gone. You've got to obviously play your cards right. You don't always get them in the right way. You know, you can get absolutely destroyed and... Is that over there? There's something there. Oh, what is this? What is this? This never showed up when I was here last time. Could a lively tavern in the middle of nowhere be anything more than a weirdness bloomed mirage? 
Even Never seen this the in the whole playthrough I did on my own. Who dare to party in such a place Never seen this. at such a time? Rest. Play dice. People inside the tavern welcome you to their table and invite you to play with them. However, the game isn't cheap. All right, let's play. Not this time. Oh! Wow! Damn! I got duped! Alright, as you know, bring in a Fae. Let's activate a minion and activate a minion. There we go, we'll activate the Fae. Quarter. We are going to throw up a barrier on ourselves. Because we did get that buff at the start of every time. We do get 20. So now we've got 30. Activate activation card. To activate the Fae again. There we go. We're going to throw that straight back on the Fae. Oh. Love this game. I'm really getting addicted to this game. Uh, increase minions damage. We'll do that to the uh, the old goal on there. And uh, we'll activate a minion. There we are. We'll activate a minion again. There we are. Then we'll activate the minion. There we are. Up by three. There you go, Fay. Grow big. It's just a matter of trying to get things built up. Whilst also trying to keep your eye on on the old. Uh, thing there but self-awareness promote the minion we'll do that to the golem just so we can keep his head you know promote the minion we will promote you now let's activate the fey to two we'll throw that straight back into the fey as you saw previously basically just rinse and repeat but make sure you do keep your eye on your golem and on your health because with every hit, there is a chance that it can recoil a little bit of it to you. Like here. There is a little bit of recoil, so you do need to take that into effect. But what I do is I always make sure if I've got a barrier, I throw one up. Or you can just throw two up. Or you can activate a minion and then get three. Boom. There we go. So look at the big boy now. Now if we go on to activation card... Go to the Fey 3 again. Great. If you do activate the Golem, he does, if I can show you. I don't have an activation card at the moment. But let's just promote the Golem. But look, even just having these two on here that can't attack, they don't attack. This one just takes a beat in and recoils some back to them. So it technically doesn't hit them in a turn. And the Fey doesn't hit. All that does is create this. It, it's, it's beautiful. Poetically beautiful. So we're hurting them without hitting them. But there we go. Three more promotions for you. And then we'll just go back to the Fey. And boom. Back up to three. <laughs> this is four. And this is now self-aware. So, after every 11th hit, damage is someone it's for every level. I mean, this thing is now getting big, and it's self-aware. So, activate minion. If we activate the golem, it will heal itself a little bit. There we go. Great. Uh, we will summon an abomination. We'll throw these three, in the well, the, uh, the ultimate ability into the abomination, and it can already do 10 to 16 damage. Beautiful. Let's activate the Fey. And it's already, boom, straight back up to three and ultimate ability is full. The only thing that can really attack them is the Abomination that we have currently out. So there we go. <coughs> we'll throw the ultimate ability into that. <clears throat> then what we'll do is we'll activate a minion. Do that. Promote. The, promote the abomination. We'll throw up a barrier. We'll activate said abomination. 
took a beat in. Did use that, didn't I? Yes. Yes, I did. Nice. They're getting absolutely backhanded by the golem. Throw a worm in there. Let's use the ability. Look how small it is right now. It does two attacks from three to four. Bosh, two attacks, four to seven. Let's promote it. There we go, two attacks, ten to sixteen. They're not going to like this thing. But, oh look. Our ultimate ability is looking a little bit low. Faye, can you fix that? Of course it can. Bleeding, love this class. You do need, like I say, you do need to keep an eye on how much this thing's getting slammed because it does affect you. So always make sure that you do try and keep a barrier up around yourself. And we did get lucky with getting that card that does give us the 20 armor buff, the 20 barrier buff. That is definitely helping. So here you go. Let's see the worm in action. Bosh. Actually, let's uh, make you a little bit bigger, shall we? Bosh! Oh, jeez, you're in for a world of hurt if this thing gets you. Bosh! Wow, and you're left on five. You're going to hit this guy, and he's just going to retaliate, and the rebound is going to hit you, and you're going to die. Bang, bang! <coughs> <coughs> As I say, I love this class. Right, so what have we got? Pick a new card. Awakening. Promote and activate all minions. Volatile magic. Activate two random minions. Or mystical blood. At the start of each turn, the minion heals. Oh, the minion healing itself. That is beautiful. That's what I want. It is handy being able to activate two at a time and all this, that and the other, but... Um, just being able to... What are you? Oh, jeez. You look nasty. It's nasty, but we need to do it, I think. We need to do it. Um, right, you're going to take all the hits for everybody. So, oh, a fey. That is really handy, getting you off uh, straight out the bat. Uh, so let's promote... Then we will activate you to get a little bit in there. Then we'll use your ability to get a little bit more in there. There we go. So that'll do for now. But these are going to slam this poor guy at the start. This poor golem. But we are going to make you self-aware. There we go. So he will grow after every hit. And at the start of each turn, the minion heals 50% of his missing HP. We will do that, so he can now not just be self-aware, but he can heal himself after every turn. All right, there we go. Let's uh, heal you up again, Faye. Or level you up again, should I say. Oh, he's getting self-aware. Let's throw up a barrier. Uh, power up, increase damage. There you go. And we'll activate minion. We'll activate the Fey again. By three. There we go. Let's put all that back into the Fey. You would thought you'd put it into the golem. But the quicker you get the Fey up and running, the quicker you can just keep slamming out. You know, slamming out this uh, ultimate ability. It healed itself and it's powered up. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, so we're going to activate the Fey. Nearly, nearly there. We will promote you. Now we're going to use that to throw in to you. We're going to activate the Fey again. There we go. Now every time this activates, it's going to fill up this for us completely full. And uh, yeah, let's just activate big boy down here, Golem. And there you go, after all that pounding, it's back to full health. Even though he's got all this minus base armor, he can still stand there and take it like a true champ. Uh, gain 50% damage this turn, yeah, whatever. Uh, I want a barrier. 
Um, let's promote the golem three times. There we go. And I'll throw up myself up a nice, sexy little barrier again. The reflect that these are getting hit with. We need to get rid of this. We need to get rid of the faith healer. That's uh, being a bit of a pain in the back end. Uh, we'll go. We need somebody that attacks. So let's bring out the worm. Yo, look how tiny it is. Uh, promote a minion. We'll then activate the Fey. We'll then put all these three promotions into the worm. Bam! Look how big it is already. Beautiful. Throw out an abomination. We'll activate the Fey. As you can see, you know where this is going. It's basically taking advantage of the game's mechanics. But it's not like you're actually abusing the fact. You're doing it the smart way. You, you have to be lucky with the cards you get, you know. You have to get the self-awareness card where... You know, it, it just makes things so much easier. What's my barrier? Oh, I don't have a barrier. Let's uh, throw up a couple of barriers. Um, promote the worm. We'll activate the fey. And we'll, you know what, we're going to hit them back this time. Let's slam them with a worm. Bam! Bit that up. No need to get rid of you. Uh, tainted. Reduce damage of all enemies by 20%. Yes, please. Alright, so let's throw this on the abomination. You can hit every single one of them, but it will all have to get redirected to this thing. Gotta kill this, the forest sentinel, before we can get rid of the faith healer. Because that is an absolute pain in the back end. Uh, do you want to activate you and we will promote the abomination we will activate the abomination wow 30 odd bet that up as you can see if you don't have a barrier you do get slammed so barrier barrier promote minion Promote minion. And let's give him a good little hit. There we go, you're left on 15. Oh, 18, sorry. Wow, that took a pounding. But as you can see, you need a barrier. Uh, activate minion, we'll activate the Fey. There we go, throw that over to the Abomination. Uh, activate one. And then, we'll activate the Abomination. Bang! He's down. Not too shabby, is it? Oh, two barriers. Nice, I'll take those two barriers. Thank you very much. We're going to activate a Fey. Throw the Fey into the Abomination. And we'll, of course, activate said Abomination. You're going to like me in a moment. Because this worm can now uh, literally just pound the hell out of you. Throw up another barrier. Another barrier. That's got us up to 40. Activate minion. But oh, you blocked it, but you, ooh, you're losing that. Uh, gain 20 damage or gain 5 armor. God, I missed that completely. Hmm. I completely forgot to do that last time. Activate the Fey. Wormy boy. There we go. Activate the Fey. And we will activate the worm. Bang. And then activate you. Oh, dead, just you left. What are you gonna do now, huh? You've gone from healing to damage. Alright. You're gonna need it. There we are. Promote minion. 
Let's activate the abomination. You got five left. You're gonna hit this guy here, and he's gonna just go no, backhand you and kill you. There you go. The almighty golem backhand. <coughs> the Fountain of Health. Of oh, beautiful and needed this. Springs with supernatural properties, including ones that could heal. Not many of these miraculous creeks are left these days, since most were drained dry to provide water supplies for Arthur's soldiers. Drink the holy water. You immediately feel refreshed. However, you feel a strange chill running down your spine. Okay, I'm gonna risk it and drink some more. Oh, jeez. Uh, at the start of each turn, the minion heals its health. Thank you very much. Um. Do you know what? Let's bring out a worm. Just get the worm to attack somebody. Uh, we've got a fay. I need a barrier. I need another barrier. Get rid of you. And we will use the worm. Why not? Throw a bit of damage around. Power. Power on the golem. Got enough barrier for now. Let's promote the fey. Activate said fey. Get rid of that. Put that back on the fey. Then activate the fey's abilities again. There we go. <coughs> Still okay for barrier. Self-aware on the golem. Brilliant. So what we want to do is activate the fey. Get rid of that. These bleeding infected cards. They infect your deck because of these people here. The sick man. And you get cards like this one popping out. It's annoying. But it does add a great aspect to the game. Love this game. Like now, look, look, it's took three out out the deck. Get rid of the you. Get rid of you. You've got to use them to get them out of your deck. All right, let's promote that Fey again. Um, promote a minion. Deal one hit for seven or gain ten damage. Oh, I'll do that. On you. Why not? Uh, 28. We're okay for right now for barrier. Um, do you know what? I'll just throw a barrier on there. Get rid of you. Activate. Activate the Fey. As always. Beautiful. And then put it back on the Fey. So now, next time we activate this guy, it should automatically go to three. Bosh. And we can go, you know what, Gollum? You need a bit of time. Bosh. There you go, you big boy now. Activate the Fae again. That's there. Activate a minion. Uh, what's your health at? Uh, your health's actually okay, so the worm. That's it. Give him a nice little bite. Give him a nice little bite again. There we go. Gorgeous. So if you love your turn-based games, you're gonna love this one. Uh, let's throw, a, you know, throw a barrier on him. Bless him. Let's uh, make the worm bigger now. And we will, of course, promote the worm again because we can get rid of that card. And activate the ability of the worm. Boom. Not a proper 
barrier, pretty low. Uh, activate minion, we'll do that to the Fae, of course. And of course, throw all three promotions into the worm. Uh, activate minion, activate the Fae, get rid of the red death. And activate the worm, bang! Love the summoner class. I mean, there are there are things that you go against that do give you a definite run for your money. Reduce damage of all enemies by 10%. <coughs> Let's throw some promotions into the worm. Activate minion. Bang. And get rid of that. And let's activate you. Bang, they're down. <coughs> that is fantastic. Now you see why I love, because I was really struggling with the whole blocking aspect uh, uh, and all that, and I'm like, oh, you know, I need a block card, I need this. But, you know, I ended up getting lucky, though, this time, because I did get the trap card. That, that did help. You know, they hit for one, and it stuns them. That was great, but... These, having the golem and being able to do certain things a certain way, it's great. Uh, Paralyst. Uh, Stunner chosen enemy, reduce their armor by 25 until the end of combat. Reduce their 25 until the end of combat. Wow, that's kind of beautiful. Sacrifice a minion and promote all of the minions. That's pretty easy for us to promote. We don't need to worry about sacrificing any of them. And Fury, at the start of each turn, the minion increases its damage by 10%. I think stun an enemy is going to be far better for us. I think that is going to be a lot better. Alright, so we've got a new passive skill. Running signs at every combat, the energy of the cost... Of the first sigil you play is reduced to zero. Okay. Redirected flow. Your minions automatically promote after three turns in combat. <gasps> oh. Whenever a fae is summoned, stun a random enemy. Nice. But automatically promoting after three turns in combat. As the waters heal you again, nice. the spring runs dry. Another 30 health. That was uh, actually pretty good. I'm impressed with that. Right, so item wise, what we're we looking at, we've got those and just wear candles. What about rune stones? Have we got any rune stones? No. <laughs> I don't want to go to the bloody tavern again. Okay, come, merchant. Oh, florist. Not the kind of florist that you'd want to see in real life. That I can assure you. Um, Stand to choose an enemy, you reduce their armor by 20% until the end. You are definitely having your armor stumped. Uh, power up, increase the power of the minion. And I don't need to activate you because that just that's just silly. Right, so we've got a golem. The golem it's like the face just don't come in there. It knows what's coming. It's like, yeah, we're not we're not giving you a fae. It knows what's coming. There we go, hit them with uh, that. Say so not having a fae out. Not used to it. Oh there we go, there's a fae. Self-aware, after each turn, promote the minion. Well, you know what? We'll uh, throw that on. Always throw that on your golem. I was going to say throw it on your fae, but throw it on your golem. It's always so much handier. Activate the golem for its health. There we go. And it does get self-aware, so it will grow. There we are. <laughs> barrier. Throw another barrier up for myself. We're going to activate the minion. Activate the minion. 
I should have said Fey. And then activate the Fey. Two. Yeah, that'll do. Throw it back onto the Fey. You see a pattern emerging here. You see a pattern. Wow, you're getting hurt. End of each turn, minion heals HP. Let's take some of that. Uh, stun an enemy. Stun you, Bosh. You're not going to use your powers. Um, need to make sure you still stay alive. So as you can see, they do get harder. But once you start slapping up the old uh, thing, it does get nice. Uh, activate the Fey. Only on a two at the minute, okay. Well, let's throw that back into the Fey. And we'll activate the Fey again. That shouldn't have turned to three. Yes! Nice. Now you'll see a massive change in, in uh, you know, let's throw the barrier on the on the poor golem there. So let's just throw that into the golem. There we are. And we'll activate the Fey to get that back up to three. Create ten barrier on all enemies or lose ten. Oh, you can have ten barrier. I'm not really fussed about that. Just take it away from you just like that. I mean, it is nice to get to a certain extent. You've seen that I didn't put it on easy. It is on normal. I, I won't put it on easy. It's just too much. Let's slap you down again. And uh, abomination, please. Grow three times. There we are. And we are going to activate you and slap people around for a minute. There we go. Right, so let's... Activate the Fey. Activate Fey. Do that. Uh, throw up another barrier. There we are. Promote a minion. Why not? Just because we can. Activate ability. Abomination. Bosh. Next turn. You're done for. Uh, stun an enemy. Should we add insult to injury? Or should we just go. Oh. Gonna say I have got pretty far with this <laughs> with uh, this setup. It, it does take a lot of doing. You do have to constantly keep going round and round and round and round and round and fighting everybody. And Wandering around, picking your fights. Notice that the plants on the ground around you are more like muscle tissue than typical vegetation. Then you notice an old man smiling at you in a oh. disturbingly friendly manner. He's sitting near an enormous pool of blood and stacks of fancy bouquets made of body parts. Hands, hearts, testicles, arms, all held together by an unknown power, form the shape of a sunflower. Your horrified eyes pass over baubles made of kidneys and macabre flowers tied neatly with intestine ribbons. Come, don't be afraid. I suppose some might consider my shop rather extravagant, uh, but trust me, you won't find anything quite like my bouquets in these woods. I wouldn't want to, would you? I would not want to. I mean, just... He's a florist. So, what do you have for me today? He notices a question forming on your lips. Oh, a bit. <coughs> I thought you came here with my delivery. Well, that's an inconvenience. Anyway, you can still take a look at my wares. Okay. Gain 50 armor this turn, gain 40 barrier, or gain one block next turn and draw an additional custom. 40 barrier. A splendid choice. I guarantee you won't regret it. These were preserved with care and the expertise of my years of experience. 
Yes, so they should last for quite a while. The man's joy quickly turns to sap. Yes. Oh, jeez. This bouquet would have been a perfect gift for a special lady. One that's dear to your heart. If only. He sobs for a while. Then, with a shaky voice, he explains. Bouquets have a purpose. They were invented for a reason. But that purpose has disappeared from this world. Nobody needs them anymore. That's true. I mean, how many people buy Everyone flowers for each other now? Everyone says there are more important matters at hand. We just don't live in the right times for vanity and joy. And that's what bouquets are all about. Right? He tries to collect himself. But I won't give up. I need to believe that all is not lost. And I do have a favor to ask of you. Great. There is a lady out there, the fairest maiden of them all. Mm -hmm. I've only seen her once, true, but I know that she's the one for me. Give There's her a bouquet no made out of dead arms, testicles, and fingers. Her Jeez. presence by my side is all I dream about. Her beauty is Crazy. all I can see. Here, love. I got you a bouquet of testicles. I beg you. Take the bouquet. <coughs> when you meet <coughs> the love of my life, she's bound to notice that it was made especially for her. Let her know that there's... Someone the hideous bouquet. Who won't ever stop dreaming about her. <laughs> alright, alright. That is... You, you, you can keep your bouquets there, fella. Keep your bouquets. Yeah. Keep them. What is this marketplace? Pack of enemies. Pack of enemies. Okay, okay. Oh, my hair. What a mess. Look, a bird's nest. <coughs> right, you know what's coming? Fake. Mystical Blast out of each turn, the minion heals 50% of his missing HP. Yep. And throw up a barrier. And activate the Fae. Nice. These things are a pain in the ass. These hit hard. Like, extremely hard. Uh. You throw that on you. Let's heal you. There we are. But these bloody things hit hard. Look at that. I mean, they do get harder. Game 40 barrier. Probably gonna need it. And Golem. Activation of the Fey. So that just goes to show, it depends what you're against. But, you know, you gotta get real lucky. You see a ruined market cart by the side of the road. A man is desperately trying to arrange his wares on whichever surface of the cart is flat enough to hold them. 
As you approach him, he immediately announces. My lord, I'm sorry. That's all I can give you this week. Who does he take you for? The man looks I'll confused. give him a hundred. Oh, Why not? mistaken you for somebody else, kind. He looks at you intently for a while. But since you refuse to take such a hefty sum, perhaps you'd be interested in helping me out. You see, I think I might have an idea on how to double, triple, or even quadruple my earnings. All I'd need is a tiny investment. I think I'd need around 5,000 coins to expand. Before you have a chance to react, he waves his hand and continues. N no, no, don't worry. It doesn't have to be paid all at once. It can be an ongoing investment, but it's going to be worth it. I promise. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Looks it. The investment is going to be worth All of that for that. Really? The local hunters call this ancient skull the Stag Father. We know it's called the Stag Father. Oh, jeez, I hate these things. We'll have the 40 barrier. Self aware for my golem. All we need now at the minute is a Fey. There we go. Power up you. Create a barrier on you just in case. We'll activate the Fey. So they do start hitting a lot harder. Ritual, activate you. Promote. Create a barrier on it because it's going to get hurt. Throw that one promotion on the uh, on the golem. It's hard hitting. Mystical blood. Yay! You can start healing yourself. Woo -woo. Activate you. Promote. Put one of the kittens was under my feet. Let's just do that. Just give it a little bit of help. It does start taking a pounding. Throw a barrier on it. Reduce damage of all enemies by 20%. Yes, please. We'll throw another barrier on myself. We'll activate the Fae. And throw it on the Fae. <coughs> uh. I mean, look how much these can hit 17 to 21. Pretty bone powerful. Promote the Fae. Activate the Fae. And throw barrier. Promote you. Activate you. I mean, you think top end. 63. 21, 21, 21. That's a lot. Nine times out of ten, they hit the top end because we are constantly decreasing on armor. Like, constantly. Constantly. Uh, activate minion. I need to throw up a barrier. And we'll promote the Fey. We'll activate the Fey. So it's constantly just keep getting slammed. But self aware, self remote, yay. Uh twenty one twenty seven. Let's just stop you for now. Ritual Promote you Barrier And let's get the Fae. this 
done a random enemy. Yep. Let's bring out the worm. Three health. Wow, I wasn't paying attention. I'm gonna die. Wasn't paying attention at all. <laughs> I don't think I had any uh, guard anyway. But I don't think we did too bad. Look at that. Experience gained. 17 enemies killed. Journal entries unlocked. 22. Wow, we almost made it to the other class just for that one. Right, so uh, these are the Royal Wars on our rapid growth. The first time you activate a minion, additionally activated two times. Healing touch, whenever a fate is activated, heal yourself by five HP. That would be really bloody handy. War is getting the fate. Real handy. But, of course, that is going to be it. Do you know what? Two more weird candles, why not? Well, we are, of course, going to be the summoner in the next one. But, I hope you did enjoy this. If you did, give it the thumbs up. Give it the like, the follow, the share. And, I mean, if you're feeling extra juicy, go to the PayPal. Help the channel out. Help it grow. It definitely helps me be able to bring more content to the channel. So, till then, have a fantastic day. And I will, of course, see you all later on. See you then.